The rain has arrived in China on quarter-final Friday at the Shanghai Rolex Masters. Four fascinating clashes to come, starting under the spectacular stadium court roof at the Kuizong Tennis Center. Last year's Shanghai finalist Joe Wilfred Songa would take on Roberto Bautista Agut, appearing in only his second ATP Masters 1000 quarter-final. But you wouldn't know it from the early exchanges. Oh, come on! He's got no business winning that point. None whatsoever. The second set was a much tighter affair, break opportunities at a minimum, but with Songa serving to stay in the match, Bautista Agut went on the attack again. Must play it, even if you think it's going out. And you've got so much of the court exposed. Love. Oh, that'll do it. What a match. Delights all round for Roberto Bautista Agut. With so much hype surrounding Alex Verov's rise to stardom, his big brother Misha's run to the quarterfinals has gone somewhat under the radar. Facing Novak Djokovic, he took an early break, and the German serve and volley tactic was proving brutally effective. Zverev held on to take the opening set, but after trading breaks in set two, it was Djokovic's turn to go on the offensive. Two superb points from Djokovic. Give him the break and the lead. When most expected Zverev to crumble, though, the 29-year-old German did the opposite. Superb stuff. But in the tiebreak that followed, it was Djokovic who edged it. You sensed that Zverev knew his opportunity for a famous victory had gone. Djokovic began to dominate early in the decider. Well, soft enough that time from Zverev. The world number one had survived a real test against the qualifier, but survive it, he did. That's the way to close it out. We took the scenic route, but Novak Djokovic is through to a seventh semi-final here in as many attempts. Andy Murray hadn't dropped a set to David Goffin in their four previous meetings, but the Belgian has been in fine form in Shanghai. A lung-busting rally in Game 6 would put the Goffin serve under pressure. 32 shots ended by Murray with a flourish. Super scintillating and sensational from Murray. The Murray machine was relentless, 6-2 to the Scot in set one, and switching from devastating defence to awesome attack in the blink of an eye here in set two. Oh, that's incredible! The scoreline perhaps not reflecting how competitive this contest had been, but Murray had the chance to see out the set and the match from Goffin serve. What a performance from Murray. Goffin played his part. I just couldn't live with a Scott. Just one semi-final place remained then, and it would come down to an intriguing clash between Jack Sock and Gilles Simon. US number two Sock was playing in his first ATP Masters 1000 quarter final, but the world number 25 was certainly not letting the occasion get to him. That is outrageous. How on earth has he made that? Sok took the opening set and had the advantage in set two as well, on course for the win, only for Simon to turn the contest around. A thrilling third set tiebreak would have to decide it. Sok with the first mini break, but yet again, Simon would find a response. Oh, how's that for a response? Well, this is why he's one of the toughest men to put away. The Frenchman on his way to a second Shanghai semi-final and a mouth-watering clash with Andy Murray. Gilles Simon secures his safe passage into the semi-finals here in Shanghai. To the final four then, Novak Djokovic against Roberto Bautista Agut and Andy Murray taking on Gilles Simon in the semi-finals of the Shanghai Rolex Masters.